After finishing Into the Radius at the end of 2022, I left the game stagnant for a while, wondering what to do next. For some reason my brain landed on the idea to make playing that game a lot harder than it really should be, almost like some strange form of masochism. So I'm going to put my armour just on here, as I'm no longer allowed to use it. Whether I thought my confidence was high, or I felt the game was too easy, I'm, I'm not really sure, but it's fair to say hindsight played a huge factor in my return to this game. I set myself a challenge to use two over-under shotguns and the PM pistol, also limiting myself to no armour and no special ammo. But if you've played the game before, you would know that all of that adds up to a very bad idea. My long range weapon is no longer uh, this, but it is indeed this long shotgun instead. I'm feet right now, I'm kind of feeling like how I did when I first started playing the game. Maybe a little, obviously a little bit better because I've got a lot more experience here. I haven't tested these weapons either, I don't know how effective any of my equipment is going to be against enemies that are outside the first zone. The game gave me this ridiculous false confidence. I'd already rid two enemies at that point, and I thought everything was going to be alright. Despite my situation, I'd actually become rather stress-free. Here we are. Let's face it, I'm going to need to relax a little bit if I'm doing this challenge. Come on. There we go. I don't advocate smoking of any kind, but it's okay if you're in an apocalypse in Russia and you're being chased by people like that. The confidence didn't last though, as I remembered another part of the challenge that I'd set for myself, and it was to get rid of the spawn, those creepy ass spider things that jump at you, with a knife, of all things. A knife. Come here, boy. Come here. I fucking dare you, come here. I'm in the stands. Come on. Let's go. Bitch. Oh my god, I did it. It's so effective. What the fuck? One issue with that is my knife condition is now so low. Looking back at this footage, it's funny to see the game gonna, almost taunting me with how easy this first section was, because at this point I was feeling good and still ready to do the rest of what I set out to do. Thankfully it didn't take too long for the game to turn back on its old ways. Oh fuck, where the, where the hell did that come from? Come here you motherfucker. Oh, fuck. What a shot. I wish the game had given me a harder time at the start. It felt a bit of a disappointing beginning to my challenge. Clearing out the rest of the area wasn't too difficult though. I did end up finding a sawn off shotgun, which was interesting. I don't remember those being in the game beforehand. If they were and someone knowledgeable is watching, do let me know because this thing was so much more fun to use than the short over under shotgun. So when I moved on to the village in the second area, I was hopeful, just because I had something new with me. I never realised how hard it would actually be though. Policeman! Hello, housekeeping. I'm here to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Oh no, that is du- Three shots, homie? Really? Anyway, about that extended warranty, oh fuck you. Okay. Jesus Christ, that one went empty as well. With this mission, I'd set myself the task of collecting two objectives, a bracelet and something called the Neon. Seemingly simple. I knew the bracelet was heavily guarded, so I thought the Neon would be a sensible start. But apparently my luck start had been brought down to one that day, so simple was the last thing I was going to get. There's two, there's three! Okay, now this isn't fair, right? Ooh, this isn't fun. Oh, my knife's gone. Oh, so I, fuck, I've actually got to use firearms now because my knife's gone. Uh oh. Load. Ooh, not ideal. Ah, oh. is that me dead? Sure. I'm really not sure if that kind of spawning is normal or 
if it gets ramped up, the more the radius resets. I don't know. But I was on edge now. I was really on edge at this point, and the game took all that confidence away. It was just laughing at me now. This place is a pain without having massive limitations on what you're carrying. I don't want to do it when I'm strapped with only a shotgun. How the fuck do I approach this? Like, actually, ooh. Hello. Ooh. I need him to, like, run, almost run at me, don't I? Where the fuck did that come from? Okay, they are going to be a problem. Come here. That's one. No, Max is not coming out to play because Max is dead. Fuck. Oh fuck, I am being caught with my pants down there. Yep, there we go. This is going to be difficult. Right, I might take another approach here. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Uh, oh, no, don't do that. Oh. Shit. I know I've, like, hindered myself by not using suppressors, and that is the whole point. But it is really annoying. Homie. Oh, yeah, I should have been paying attention. I just kept dying over and over again and started questioning whether this actually was a good idea to do this. I couldn't decide what was hindering me worse at this point. The difference in weapons or my skill? It wasn't long until I found the answer though as I discovered I still lacked the skill to go down a ladder. Oh fuck's sake. <laughs> Every time man. Ooh. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh, I did it again. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. God, I was so confident in the opening area of the map, and I just cucked myself again, man. Did that knock my shotgun off? Yeah, it did. Oh my god. Okay. Ah. I ended up finding my way down and into the basement, clearing the enemies down there too. There was significantly less. I think the game probably took pity on me because of how bad the rest of my time was. I found the bracelet from the old explorer and had made my way to the second objective and somehow I thought that was the worst of what was yet to go. I can hear one of the spiders right now. Oh fuck me! <sighs> Into the radius. Your great game. But I want you to understand. Sometimes I really want to uninstall you. I would like to thank the United States military for their participation in this video. Because apparently that's who they've sent to kill me. Oh, for fuck. Oh, fuck you, this is gonna kill me. No, I'm not having you kill me again. Where's my gun? Where's my gun? Four of them? Are you shitting me? No, you're not killing me. I really underestimated how important the better equipment actually was in this game, because if I'm honest, I really thought this would be easy, I did. I found the last objective and took it back a broken man. 
knowing next time to bring something that has more than two shots before it needs a reload. I don't think I'll be trying that challenge again, I can't lie. As much as the shotguns are nice, um, and it's like a nice change to use them, they're not great. <laughs> they're not great. They're not like they're not great for going through a place that's so stacked with enemies. Oh god. I will say though, I want to try this again, but set different parameters beforehand. I also want to have a look at modding this game too. I know it's possible, and some of the mods come in my life even worse, so I definitely do want to check those out. I am done with that challenge for now though. It sucked. And on that, that is the end of the video. Thank you, kind stranger, for watching. I appreciate your attention. A like and a subscribe are never needed, but they are always appreciated. For now though, I hope the rest of your day is enjoyable and a good night's sleep is ahead of you. Thank you for watching, goodbye.